Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. And welcome back to Tim Friend. We've just slotted the Sapphire Star into this slot, I guess, in front of the Thousand Year Door. They're like, are we hanging on to these stars? What's what's the deal here? Are we leaving them in front of the door? Probably not, right? That seems like a terrible idea. But anyway, uh, we got the new, the next location. It looked very fancy. There was a fountain. There were Greek columns, possibly Roman columns. I don't know what the difference is. Come on, let's go talk to Professor Frankly. You got it, Goombella. No fucking, no preamble to that. I like it. All right. What's he got to say to us? What you got for me, Franco? Great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. You don't say. It sounds posh. <laughs> a little joke, I like to say. Wait a sec. You mean where all the rich and famous live? Like movie stars and stuff? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. So, uh, a little help here? To get to Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch. I thought you had to be, like, rich or famous to get an Excess Express ticket. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. Oh, no, 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 no! Not that psychopath again. Ah, oh, well, I guess we don't have much choice, huh? Come on, Mario, let's go. It's a good thing we ran into Frankie and Francesca really recently, huh? Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. You know, just the going out and getting the crystal stars portion of things. But first, we've got a little bit of a side quest to do. So this is the Trouble Center. I've mentioned it briefly. Uh, we've got to do this one. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. This poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yes. Do it and do it right. We're going to come back and do all these Ding Dang quests at some point. Uh, not right now. We don't... I don't have a, a mighty need to do them. I think what's probably going to happen is I'm going to do them all after Chapter 7, before the final chapter. Just because a lot of them are, I mean, pretty boring. Um, I mean, should I do all of them? I should probably just do the ones that give me the good rewards, huh? But we're not... We're not here for the fucking... The completionist run. We're just here for a BP-only run. So, we'll do the ones that give me shit... Hey, it's Miss Mouse. That's why she didn't show up in Chapter 5. Because she was literally unable to. Because we could have recruited her before Chapter 5. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Nice. Mm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. That much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? You got it, babe. Let me just uh, give a little swatch over to Long Gom, because uh, someone, your friend and mine, Timbly friend, is going to be having to do a lot of running around. We're going to go to Hooktail's castle. Everyone's favorite fucking place to be. Remember that, that, the first dungeon we ever did. Well, it, it's, it, I think it was one of the longer dungeons, honestly. But I think part of that is because uh, the puzzles within were uh, simpler. Oh, right, got to go up the stairs. Uh, it, was, it was more linear, I guess, than most dungeons, in that there were more just places to fight enemies instead of, like, backtracking on your own shit like there was in, uh, obviously, Chapter 4. But also, oop! Excuse me, forgot about this boat panel. I know there's a boat panel in the east side of Rogueport and another one elsewhere in uh, the sewers, but uh, we'll get them another time. Right now, I want to focus on getting uh, the Miss Mouse trouble done and the, the Hoozy Butt, the Ultra Stone, I believe it's called, that lets us upgrade our partners to Tier 3, the final and most bestiest tier. You can't do shit about that pipe on the far right yet, either. Uh, we're gonna need the thing we get in Chapter 6, and then we're gonna need to beat Chapter 6, because it's one of those things where you can't come back until it's done. 
Uh, but whatever, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Any but, let's get on that long gum, get to rolling, and get off that long gum and get to stopping. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, the game was not exactly designed with long gum in mind uh, for running around, but but sh whatever, it's gonna be fine. We'll do a hop and a hop. I don't even know if it's faster to use long gum in every situation, but by golly, I'll try. At least when we're going to places where we've already been. Because if we're going to places that are new, I usually want to have like a, a more combat capable uh, partner. Out of where are the coops? There's one, there's the other one. Later, bunches. It's got a little, get a little zap, a little zip, a little zoop. It's got to book it around him a little bit. I love that my capture is still running. God, that makes me happy. <laughs> It's the little things, you know? It's Sometimes it's just the little things that uh, that you can do, programs, that make me happy. I used to have the biggest problem with uh, Adobe Premiere, which I used to... Uh, this is the room behind the reversible stair, by the way. Just gotta keep, keep going. Just gotta keep making analogies. But yeah, I used to have the problem with Adobe Premiere. Uh, fucking just absolutely crash-tastical. Uh, every time I would try to upload ep or try to export the the was MP4s, the MPGs, the whatever the the episodes that I does, uh, it would crash like f three out of ten times, which doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, when I'm uploading uh, ten episodes at a time, which is the the seven daily ones and the three uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday ones, um, tri weekly. That's what I should fucking call them. Hey, what a surprise. Yeah. Uh, what the ding dang thing is open. And what do we get in here? A switch. And what does the switch do? It reveals a chest. And what's in the chest? An up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody. You got it, video game. I'll just ask someone what this up arrow means. Turns out the answer is up. It just refers to the direction up. But we've got to return that over to old Merlon in order to get the uh, true reward out of it. That's okay. It's not a big deal. It's all just fine. Because we're, we're here in Hooktail's castle anyway. I don't know why we couldn't just uh, just tell Merlon to look up. But whatever. It's fine. I'm not even uh, not even bitter or resentful about it. Let's get out, Coops, because we going to need them. Lululip. Jump up these stairs. Roll over to here. Boop. Yay, Hooktail's castle. Remember these days with the Goombas and the Koopas and the Dry's Bones? Yeah, this is, this is good times. It was easy times. There were no problems with enemies. We didn't have people putting us to sleep. We didn't have things lighting us on fire. We didn't have to worry about fucking... I mean, mostly our problems have been with things putting us to sleep, honestly. We haven't had many... Many true problems other than Chapter 4 so far. Uh, like I said, this next one I am worried about. Keel Hall Key I was worried about. Uh, mostly I was worried about the putrid piranhas that we fought on the island itself. Uh, getting the Zap Tap badge really makes the, the jungle a lot easier uh, with the fuzzies. Uh, but I'm... I'm just as the, the game progresses, I'm really worried about the beginning of Chapter 7. Uh, and... Honestly, like, even more through Chapter 7, just because Chapter 7 friggin' sucks. Uh, let's multi-bounce, huh? Boing, and dead, and dead. Three dead Koopas, and two of them are already dead. What a waste of time. <laughs> just get the fuck out of here, dry bones. Or dusty bones, or whatever the fuck you're called. I don't even care. Uh, let's see, yeah, we gotta do this fucking puzzle again, too. Hup. This ding dang castle I've already done. This is like the third time I've had to go through it. It's because I had to go through it again because I lost my freaking save file or whatever the fuck happened. I don't even remember. It's so long ago. But, uh, yes, I am worried about the enemies in the beginning of Chapter 7. Uh, in Chapter 6, I'm very worried about the boss. I'm moderately worried about some of the enemies we're going to fight. Uh, not, not super Wario Brothers, but moderately Wario Brothers. Uh, chapter 8, I'm worried as fuck about the bosses, plural, especially the final, final boss. It's going to be real rough with only 10 HP. We're going to have to get pretty janky. Going to have to use strats that I've never used before. And uh, in all honesty, I might never use again. This might be the last time I run this game. Run this game. Makes it sound like I'm doing a speed run, which is 
as you might have noticed, and not the case with with this being episode bah 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 home. But uh, I don't know. Like this would be kind of like a like a real feather in the cap. It'd be a real uh, real real pinnacle achievement for me, beating this game in a with a challenge run. It's something I I haven't done before in a game that I already think is is. It's challenging. Like the the bosses are difficult, but uh, this is definitely the most effort I've had to put into this game ever. Uh, and I'm honestly having a lot of fun. There's another thing I just I like about Paper Mario Thousand Year Door is that uh, it rewards you for putting in extra effort into learning its systems and mechanics uh, and just knowing the game. It doesn't have like a true new game plus uh, type dealy, but it it still makes you feel like you're rewarded for really understanding its mechanics. Let's fucking quick swap to Koops. Jump on this paratrooper's head. Because I'm not going to fucking run away, because we're just going to have to come back down anyway. Uh, but yeah, and and beating a challenge mode like this, it's, it's awesome. It feels really cool, uh, he said, even though he hasn't beaten it yet. But we will, you know? I'm going to put that energy out in the universe. I'm going to say we will beat it. We're gonna beat it. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna beat the final boss. Sis, plural. And uh, it might take us a couple tries, but I'll be able to come up with a strategy that works. Uh, whether it's myself or just me fucking training at uh, what are those, the super counters, uh, super blocks, super whatevers. We'll do whatever we can. We'll do whatever we need to to uh, beat this game without altering, altering our stats or anything like that. Wow, harness the power of the wind, huh? Pretty incredible stuff. All right, and we got an attack FXB badge. A useless badge that lets our attacks sound different. Can we? No, we can't just jump out that door, out this out this window, huh? Can't jump out of a castle's uh, highest parapet, out of its highest minaret. I think a minaret is more for a different style of architecture than perhaps Hooktail's castle has, but... Uh, it's fun to say minaret and parapet. It's got some, some really big plosives in there. Anyway, uh, next time on Tim Friend, I will have made it all the way back to Rogueport because, uh, this is fucking boring. But it's been a nice, it's been a nice little break from the dialogue where I get to talk with, talk with the viewers. Talk with you friends. Son of a binge. Stop it. Y'all, y'all need to just stop. Just freaking stop. Stop it until your corpses, you blasted turtle men, with your big wings and your cool glasses. Get the heck butts out of here. But anyway, as I said, next time on Tim Friend, uh, we will finish the trouble. We'll be able to upgrade our, our partners and crimes and, and times. And then, uh, I'll, maybe there's some more? St yeah, we'll blow up the rest of the stuff that we need to blow up with Bobbery. And then uh, we'll be on to Chapter 6. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited. That means uh, the farther we the farther we do it, the more we go, the closer we get to the bosses that I'm really afraid of. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye bye everybody. <laughs>